What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys have been out there building shit. Leaving what God gave you, taking on projects, building, fixing, creating. So in this episode of World Shop, we're going to be talking about this 1996 Freightliner FL70. It's got the 12-valve Cummins in it. And we're going to be doing a thermostat. Stick around, I'll show you how. The tools you're going to need for this job is a half-inch ratchet. Don't need no sockets. A 10 millimeter wrench, a 10 millimeter socket on a short extension, a 12 millimeter socket, deep well, and a ratchet to fit those. And a flathead screwdriver and a drain pan. We're going to start out draining about three gallons of coolant out of the radiator. Drain some of this out. Once we got some coolant drained out, so when we disassemble the thermostat housing, it doesn't drain all over the ground. Now we're going to take off the serpentine belt. Big ratchet. Untension that. So you can pull that belt off. And you pull it off that smooth one right there. I couldn't slip it off this one. I tried it first, but then I ended up slipping it off that one. Once we got that belt loose, one of the next things we do is use a 12 millimeter socket and loosen this clamp so we can take off the upper radiator hose. Using the 10 mil wrench, we get all these three bolts out, out of the alternator bracket and pull it away. It just bends down like that, rotates. Now get these bolts. So I used a, my 10 mil socket on a little extension. Got those three. See the thermostat right down in there. So once you got those three bolts off, there that comes off. Assembling this stuff. Get it nice and cleaned up. And then the thermostat goes right down in there. If you've got a hole in it, it goes towards the top so that the bubbles come out. Mine doesn't got a hole in it. I don't know what I was thinking, but... The springy side goes into the engine block, not that way. I had it upside down when I was assembling this. Luckily, it's not all uh, put together yet. So put that that way, guys. And we've got this little rubber deal. Uh, you could get a new one. I decided just go ahead and go with this one because I don't see any damage or nothing on it. But that little lip goes down against the thermostat. I went ahead and ran some RTV all around there first. Now I'll put that little rubber deal in. Once you got your Permatex RTV on there, you got your little rubber deal in. Then you take this piece and the bent part comes up away from the radiator hose connection. And you slide that down and on. All the holes are lined up. I kind of gave it a little slight wiggle just to kind of get that RTV work, worked around. And now I'm going to put some more RTV out and around this part. RTV ran all the way around that and around the bolt holes. So now let's go put it back on the truck. Don't forget to get this surface nice and cleaned up too, guys. If you're a savvy observer, you notice that I put that thermostat in backwards because I was paying more attention to doing a proper video than I was doing it proper and so the spring and this end goes into the engine I used a, my 10 mil socket on a little extension and just used it like a screwdriver got those three tightened up I'm gonna give it about an hour and then I'll come back out put it on the ratchet and snug them down so it's been about an hour came out Used the ratchet here, the 10 mil, got that all tightened up. So now we'll go ahead and get the uh, alternator bracket put back on. Let's push this back up and put those bolts back in. Using this 10 mil wrench, we'll tighten these all back up. After those bolts are back in for the alternator bracket, bring your radiator hose back over here, put it on. 12 millimeter deep socket to tighten up. Now that we got that radiator hose tightened back up, now it's time to redo the serpentine belt. And it's how I do it. Make sure that it's over that one, under this one. Come on now. And then around the alternator, and then I go over this smooth one last. To install the belt, you do that belt tensioner. Make sure it's on all, all the other belts. And then slide it back on there. Release the tensioner, and it'll tighten her up. 
we go. Go ahead and pull your radiator cap. Grab yourself a funnel and dump that bucket of coolant you drained out right in that funnel. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this instructional tutorial how to do a thermostat in one of these Freightliner FL70s with the Cummins 12 valve 5.9 engine. Video helped you out? Go ahead and hit that like button. Really helps out with this small YouTuber trying to grow, trying to beat those evil algorithms. Want more information on these old FL70 trucks? Hit that subscribe button. I'll be putting out a video in the next week or so on how to change the radiator. Check out some of my older videos. I've done other repairs on this truck as well. You might enjoy those. Might learn something. Otherwise, till next time, believe in what God gave you guys. Take on some projects. Build, fix, create. Keep building shit.